I am Gilles Breville. Welcome to my home and studio. I was born in Sydney, Australia, and eventually my parents moved uh, back to France. Naturally, I was attracted to uh, just expressing myself, having drawing lessons at an early age. So at 14, I entered a, a restoration workshop. It was a studio basically restoring old masters and they had a uh, training program to work on pieces from the 12th century to the 20th century. At a very young age I started to practice meditation so that gave me access to layers of the mind that didn't know was there. Reducing the uh, radio noise in the brain I guess <laughs> and uh, always been of curious nature, so that was part of my uh, evolution as an artist. The first time I came to the state, I was 26 years old. I won a prize in France that they were basically doing head hunting, looking for talent. That year they, uh, they were looking for visual artist and coincidentally I won the uh, the competition if you would therefore I was able to be part of this foundation that gave me access to I guess worldview and access of different cultures and influences and such. I moved to Texas in 2005 from uh, Maui basically I turned into my creative heaven I guess um, my workshop my house my sculpture garden. It keeps evolving. <laughs> yeah, and it will keep evolving. It will keep going. It will keep on going. So, um, yeah, I think it's, uh, it, for me, it was to create an environment. When I take a break, I got this space around me, you know, that inspires me, but uh, I'm able to resource myself, I guess. Being an artist is about being an explorer. I love this notion of exploration. You know, it could be the world and our experience while we are living to be a continuous exploration. So for me, the creative process is truly an exploration and I continuously look for other avenues and uh, experiences expressing what I'm living basically. Yeah. Right now, it's returns to the basic, it's super low tech. It's basically, you got to express, your, I got to express myself with stick, glue, and nails, and paint, you know, so. One interesting subject actually is the notion of failure, the creative process and failure. But on a creative level, I think it's an absolutely necessary process because we fail. It's like walking when we're kids, you know, you're gonna fall many times, but you know, do we give up? No, because we are programmed to walk. Uh, we need to fail and use that as as basically a form of the creative process itself, you know, where we keep failing and eventually we think we get it right. And this is where we progress into becoming an accomplished artist, or at least perceived as an accomplished artist. It's all very relative, you know? <laughs> but, the, the <laughs> but I really believe that. I really believe that, uh, you know, we break down all kind of boundaries as artists. Successfully or not, it's basically what matters, in my opinion, is the intent, you know, that, that we actually attempted to break the boundary. 